welcome to digital learning department of collegiate education myself chodappa r singh assistant professor of commerce gfgc kottegere today i discuss about organizational structure of mnc's before going to organ structure actually we learn about mnc's organ structure and the session outcome is also the students able to earn the organ structure of mnc's see there are so many organ structures are there for mnc's under that five to six are very important organ structures here any one mnc is built according to a what is called organ structure what is organ structure organ structure is a scheme consisting of units and individual officers of the company located by levels of importance and responsibility which contains the relationship between them and the chain of command this is the meaning of organ structure means organ structure means it is a scheme of consisting units and individual officers means number of units are considered and number of individual officers considered in a company andre ellaru ulagondante ella number of units or departments are considered maartivi matte ella individual officers are considered maartivi it is a scheme of consisting of units and individual officers of the company located by the levels of importance according to the importance and responsibility of the officers and units which contains the a relationship between them means what is the relationship between the officers or units which contains the relationship between the them and the chain of command what is the chain of command between the departments between the units between the officers this is called an organization structure of mnc therefore depending on the stage of the company means formation of company the kick mark formation of company means promotion and incorporation and business commencement stage even the birth according to the formation according to the development according to the stabilization according to the crisis the different approaches to build the organ structure therefore hagadre now we have the organ structure to build madbeku andre now our company formation mele depend agirutte our company development mele depend agirutte our company stabilization mele depend agirutte our company crisis mele depend agirutte then and also it requires different approaches to build the organ structure so number of approaches are be kaavu the idralli very important therefore a competently built organ structure make it possible very important yavde ondu organ structure na competently build madbeku andre adu build madire nam yen anukula very important to optimize the strength ondu organ structure na correct build madire strength increase agutte number of units what is called strength unit agutte and simplify the interaction between the units that means what is the relationship between the units in the department or in the organization that is simplify out them to distribute evenly the pressure on staff staff mele en pressure irutha to distribute out them to avoid duplication of functions very important according to our structure now correct define made them duplication of functions kadame agutte reduce madabodu and increase the productivity very important to increase the productivity and another one to eliminate double and triple subordination very important subordination is not required double and triple subordination is not required when when any one company built a competent organ structure and delimit the scope of leaders very important leaders scope is reduced and define the powers and area of responsibility of each members or each officers in the unit ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಬ್ಬರದು ಸಹ ಪವರ್ಸ್ ಏನಿದೆ ರೈಟ್ಸ್ ಏನಿದೆ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಡಿಫೈನ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಯಾವುದೇ ಒಂದು ಕಂಪನಿಯ ನಾವು ಆರ್ಗನೈಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಅನ್ನು ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಬಿಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಕಾಂಪಿಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಬಿಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ಅನುಕೂಲ ಬಿಡಿಸೋದು ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ಸ್ ಯಾವಾಗ ವೆನ್ ದ ಕಂಪನಿ ಕಾಂಪಿಟೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಬಿಟ್ ದ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ಎಮ್ ಎನ್ ಸಿಸ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಎನ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ದಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಯೂಶುವಲ್ ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದು ಸಹ ಎಮ್ ಎನ್ ಸಿ ಸಹ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಏನಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ to build the functions like finance marketing r&d and production as well as those functions 
required being successful behind the domestic market. So domestic market in the foreign market hodaga na build market kundre even lama sa beka utta arm stretches beka utta him. So what is the basic arm stretches? Here is basic arm stretches. The types of arm stretches there are one. There are six very important types. One is international division stretcher. Another one is global production division. Another one is global area division. And another one is global functional division. And another one is mixed or matrix arm stretcher. And this one is transnational network stretcher. This is the six very important stretcher. Other link start first one international division stretcher. So what is international division stretcher? It is one of the very important structure of MNC. It is an organization arrangement, means agreement or arrangement. It is the organization arrangement in which all international operations are centralized in one division. This is the meaning of international division structure. It is an organization arrangement in which all international operations, all international means foreign company operations, the foreign country operations are centralized in one division one division is centralized a firm may establish an international division to contain its international activities anyone firm anyone company so international division anna theerkondaga international activities control madodakoskara international division establish madutte thus creating a separation between the domestic and international activities for example british food company may have a several domestic product divisions to customers in its own country this is one of the example best example for international division structure you know, british food company have a several domestic product number of product divisions idru saha adu thanna ond home countries alli thanna ond dominant vertical division ond central division and also other reeti coca cola company and the round structure is an one of the international division. This is one of the example. What is the example? You will give examples and put about. And what is the advantages? It manages a diversified enterprise with total staff of hundreds of thousands, thousands and geographical remote units. Very important. Even the structure in the international division structure, this manage total number of hundreds of thousands of staffs in the management of the Geographically, you know, extend the management is very important and another one benefit in a It provides greater flexibility, very important. This structure is provided flexibility between the units and between the people or members who are working the officers and also quick response to changes on the environment of enterprise. So quick response is very important. So one is flexibility and another one is quick response and another one advantage. Expanding the company's borders, very important. Company borders expand out there to or more countries came, as the number of countries came. Separate offices become profit centers. In separate offices, they are currently profit centers, actively working on improving the efficiency and quality of production. Very important. This structure, very important advantage for them. Improve the efficiency and quality of production. And fourth one, closer connection between production and consumers. According to this structure, Prakara MNC says consumers with the production and way closer interconnection of time. That is very important. Another one advantage. It assures that international focus receives top management attention. Very important. This structure is focused on management attention. Top management, very important. Top management attention something for them. And it promotes overall unified approach. All units are promote so in the node control, control and also another one advantage it develops internationally experienced managers very important this structure develops a number of managers those who are working internationally and also it coordinate all international business or trade activities international trade activities and coordinate more time and also another one advantage it separates domestic from international managers very important Domestic managers are different, international managers are different. Therefore, this division, this structure separate these two are. And another one advantage, it develops international expertise and skills. Very important. International skills and talents and expertise and development. This is the advantages. What are the demerits or disadvantages or limitations? One a large number of levels managing by vertically between workers, the and the managers of production units very important demerit number of levels 
will be created between the managers and workers ill vertically create aagutte this is not good for this what you called mnc's and second one a large distance between the office staff of and the headquarters of the company who are the headquarters of the company means home country home country company illittakanta staff officers alli distance create aagodu that is very important delay or poor cooperation or cog for called combination of managers in addressing issues related to the units enandru issues raise aadre yavade ond units alli adara sambandha pattante distance irukodukara delay aagabodu poor cooperation between the units that is very important the merit and the duplication of functions very important number of time the functions are uh, repeat repeat adre duplicate aagta irutte and another one point it is dependent on domestic product divisions of for r&d and engineering id mukhyavagi this structure is mainly depend upon product domestic product divisions for r&d research and development sambandha pattante domestic product divisions na engineering na valagondirutte and another one uh, demerit there is a conflict over pricing and transfer pricing over pricing with the transfer pricing madre like conflict raise avu chance irutte it cannot handle too many products number of products na easy handle madak agalla this division and its foreign subsidiaries are relegated to second tier position yen now foreign subsidiaries the foreign countries alli yen majors anta treat martide the heads anta treat martide they are treated as second tier position the treatment of first tier positions that is a demerit knowledge learned in host markets are not easily transferred back to the parent what is the knowledge learned in the host country market or host market or foreign market they are not transferred to the home country home country transferred out of the technology and home office may not be able to allocate resources globally that is very important thanna resources anna easy allocate madak agodilla illi entire globally there is the paralyzing the growth automatically growth decline agutte these are the demerits of uh, this structure that is interaction division structure this is the first structure of the organizational structure of mnc's therefore in next all other sessions we will discuss in the next session thank you